But Kenny's able to escape outside of the ring, and I think that just saves him. Cole, wait a minute. Red Wedding on the floor on the outside. Rosemary is through playing around. Wait a minute, Kenny. Wait, no, Rosemary reverses again. Rosemary is on fire. Wait a minute, we could have a count out. We could have a count out. Kenny Omega. Rosemary is woozy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, your boy, and we are back at it once again with round number two of the PCW tournament for April 2018. And you already know that we have the bangers on board here tonight. We have stuff like Cash's Ono versus Andrade C and Almas. We have stuff like AJ Styles versus Minoru Suzuki. Alistair Black versus Roman Reigns is looking stacked. If you're new here and you've never heard of PCW, PCW is a monthly simulation tournament with wrestlers representing patrons from my Patreon that are in a tier of $10 or more. Now, every patron that signs up will be assigned a wrestler, so every wrestler you see here in this tournament here tonight in round number two will be representing a patron for my Patreon. And then, of course, they're put into a bracket, and every month we have a tournament to crown a PCW monthly champion, and then whoever wins that championship gets an opportunity to face the PCW World Champion for the PCW World Championship. As always, I would love to hear what your favorite match of the round is down in the comments below after you finish the video. And of course, if you want to timestamp any cool moments that you enjoyed so other people can also enjoy those moments too, be sure to do that. And of course, always leave that thumbs up. Let's hop into the first match of the evening. The first match of round number two will be Cassius Ono versus Andrade Cien Almas. Cassius Ono, of course, representing Zadok V. Zadok actually was in the finals of the last tournament. You know he's trying to get back there again, but this time with Cassius Ono, and we'll see if they can do the damn thing as the next person that's coming out. Andrade Cien Almas El Idolo will be representing Dean L here tonight. And Dean is looking to make it to that finals himself. So we'll see what they can do. Cassius Ono had one hell of a match in round number one against Shark Boy. That was crazy. Make it on to this next round. We'll see if he can do the same thing with Andrade. Now let's get this match underway. Of course, we have Ref James over there in the UNC Retro Six is looking right good. <laughs> As Cassius Ono is going to go straight to the offense on Andrade. Oh, a little bicycle knee there to start off the match here. Andrade looks to be a little... Oh, I was going to say, maybe he looks a little out of it. But that Frankensteiner tells me otherwise. As we're going back and forth right now, big boot from Cassius who's going to go for the pin on Andrade right now. Just a one count early on. But Andrade is going to bring this Smash Mouth style straight to Cassius Ono. The big roundhouse kick to the back of the noggin there. Oh, Sepp up Enzagiri there from Cassius Ono. These dudes are going right at each other. There's something about this first match slot in these tournaments, man. They really go at each other like full throttle. You know, you don't expect it every single time, but they do the damn thing. Coming off the ropes with a Hurricane Rana there from Andrade Cien almost into the corner now as Cassius Ono tries to regain momentum. We're on the top rope. This is not looking good. Oh, a Sunset Flip Powerbomb off the top rope from Andrade to Cassius Ono. Oh, no, just a two count. I thought that was going to be it. I thought he was going to escape with it. Big exploder suplex there from Cassius Ono. Oh, Rolling elbow. That could... <gasps> Cassius... What? What is going on? Andrade just no sold it. Fighting spirit. And a big Enzigiri from Andrade. But Cassius Ono oh, with a rolling elbow. Good God. <laughs> There is something about this first match slot in these tournaments, man. Good God. I couldn't even keep up with the action. I wasn't expecting that. Three minutes and 30 seconds, bro. Big kick from Cachazona lays out Andrade Cianamas in a 2.9, but Andrade saves him. So wait a minute. Oh, no, just a two count as Cachas is able to kick out a look for a second. Maybe he's going to do something there. Roll through from Cianamas. Just a two as Cassius is now looking to get an elbow to the back of the head and restart this momentum on his side. Gonna take a breather real quick. The big boy gotta take a breather. Down goes Cassius Ono. Andrade at the top row. What the hell? Big boy sent on onto Cassius. He's gonna go for the pin. Oh, just a 2.9. Cassius able to kick out once again. As Andrade now has him in the center of the ring right where he wants him. Knocking him out cold with a shot to the back of the head here. You know he wants that hammerlock DDT. Big headbutt from Andrade as Cassius is now up with the step up in Zagiri. Center of the ring roll through. Andrade. And that's it! Andrade Cianamas is going to steal it off of Cassius Ono. Andrade and Dean L will be moving on to the next round in the PCW tournament. And that is all she wrote for Zadok V and Cassius Ono. I could barely keep up with the action in the first match. And I think that's pretty much how it's going to be the whole rest of the evening. As Austin Aries, who will be representing Chris D, making his way to the ring. And he has got his work laid out for him this evening. 
as he is facing off against someone that might be two, maybe three times his size. And I think you guys know who it is. Braun Strowman. And Braun will be representing Mass Effects. Chris D and Mass Effects would love to move to the next round, but only one can do it. And as we saw in that last round, these matches might be going quicker than expected. Especially with someone like Braun, you never know with that situation. That can always turn out a little crazy crazy, but the belt collector is looking to grab another championship and add it to his collection. We'll see if he can defeat Braun and move on and do the damn thing, or if Braun's going to take him out back like he's done pretty much everybody else that he comes across. Here we go. Austin Aries starting with some hot toss judo throws. I'm liking this. Braun Strowman going to strike back, obviously. What the hell? Oh, damn. What the hell was that? I don't even know what to call that move. As he just kind of tosses him off his shoulder. Braun Strowman with a sidewalk slam. They're doing big boy damage to each other early on here. It's obvious that everyone from this tournament... Oh my, what the... Oh my. Austin Aries, is that a... I think he had Braun... I, I didn't even know if he had Braun Strowman's shoulders down, but I guess he did. Interesting pin here. They're breaking out all sorts of interesting moves here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Austin Aries is dead. He's dead. Braun Strowman killed him. This round has been nothing short of insane so far as Braun Strowman just criticaled Austin Aries. Braun Strowman and Mass Effects are moving on to the next round. And I know, I know that Johnny Gargano would love to do that here tonight. Johnny will be representing Hail Mendoza as he faces off against a man that gravity forgot. His name is Neville, and Neville will be representing Sydney W. And boy, oh boy, I wish I could tell you I knew what was going to happen in these matches, but to be completely honest, all of these have been off the walls. It's obvious that these dudes, most of them at least, are a little tired from the last round, but they are going full force. Pedal to the metal. These dudes are out here wilded. I mean, Braun Strowman just, just straight up destroyed Austin Aries' whole career. That was absolutely insane. Now we're going to the corner here where Neville's going to knock Johnny Gargano out, but Gargano's going to go ahead and hit him back with a little kick there. I don't think Neville expected that at all. Johnny going to go for a kick. Neville's going to go ahead and drag and corkscrew that. Go for them leg bones right there. Them hot dog legs of Johnny Gargano. Drop kick from Johnny there as Neville's looking to get back into it with a snap suplex. Oh, what's he? he I thought maybe he was going to go for the rings of Saturn. I didn't know what to. Like I said, I don't know what to expect anymore. Wait a minute. Top rope, red arrow! Two. Oh, Johnny just kicked. I'm telling you, these matches are... We wildin' with it. Super kick there from Neville. Knocks down Johnny Gargano as he looks for a German suplex possibly, but Johnny's going to reverse back with a bulldog. These matches are crazy. They're out of control here. Big buzzsaw kick from Johnny Gargano. Is that going to be enough? Is that going to knock Neville out? No, just a one count fighting spirit from Neville as he says it's not over just yet. Wait a minute. Yes lock from Johnny Gargano. Is Neville going to give up? No, Neville's going to be able to get out of that yes lock. These are pedal to the metal round matches. This is insane as they both fire off on each other. Johnny Gargano, Neville. Neville's going to knock him out, but he's going to get down at the same time. A little reset from both men. As both men are back to their feet now, another buzzsaw kick from Johnny Gargano is going to lay Neville out. Off the ropes with a drop kick. Neville is not where he wants to be right now. Johnny flips him over as Johnny goes to the top rope. What's he going to do here? Big double foot stomp to Neville, who is now lost in the corner as Johnny continues this barrage of kicks. Johnny back to the top rope. Another double foot stomp to Neville as he sends him back over. Wait a minute. Neville able to recover. Off the ropes goes Neville into a rolling elbow there from Johnny Gargano. As Johnny's feeling a little bit, he's saying, get up, Neville. But Neville said, all right, I'll get up, no problem. Big enzigiri from Neville. And that causes a reset for both men now. Oh, they both went for a kick at the same time. Big super kick from Johnny as he goes back up to the top rope. Is he waiting for him to get up or something? Whoa, big clothesline off the top rope from Johnny Gargano. I don't think Neville was expecting that at all. But Neville was able to recover before Johnny Gargano. Oh, and there it is, the rings of Saturn. Johnny does not give up in a surprise turn of events. I thought if he hit that, it might be over with, but Johnny's able to get out of it. Now Johnny's calling for the end here. Off the ropes here. Big clothesline. Sends Neville to the ground, but Neville's able to kick him in the head and say, nah, you good to that. As Johnny's trying his best to stay in this matchup. Goes back to the top rope. 
Another double foot stomp, but Neville was able to get out of the way, going to the well. Maybe a little too much here. There's a cross leg driver there. 2.9 as Neville's able to get out. Uh oh. Neville's calling for the end here. Off the ropes, Neville. Big Hurricane Rana. He's got Johnny Gargano in the corner here. A big punch. Neville. Looks like he's calling for the end. He's waiting for Johnny to get up. He's getting his breath back a little bit. Big missile drop kick from the ropes, but he missed. Johnny Gargano is able to get out of the way. Big roll through from Neville. Is that going to be it? No, just a two count as Johnny's able to stay alive again. Neville with an uppercut now. Uh-oh, that's not where he wants to be. Big red arrow. And that's all she wrote. Neville and Sydney W will be moving on to the next round. Johnny Gargano tried his best. My man had the heart. He stayed in it past the ring of Saturn. Kicked out of the red arrow. But it just ain't going to be enough as another red arrow is going to take him down once more. These matches in round number two have been nothing short of surprising as we go into a matchup that I think we would probably qualify as a dream match for some people. We have Alistair Black making his way to the ring tonight. Alistair, of course, is representing none other than Julian B. As he faces off against someone that he has never faced off against before. None other than Roman Reigns, the big dog. Roman Reigns is representing Cameron M. And the big dog is looking to make this his big yard and win the big PCW championship to put in his big house. Now Roman Reigns is going to have to watch out for these kicks because of the way things have been going here. All it takes is one move out of absolutely nowhere. And that's the match as we've seen earlier on in round two. Roman Reigns now down to Aleister Black. Give up? No, the single leg Boston Crab is not going to make Roman Reigns give up. I just realized how little this Roman Reigns looks. I was wondering why Shinsuke... Well, I was wondering why Shinsuke looked like a giant compared to Roman Reigns. Maybe the Shinsuke I got was just super big. But I think this Roman Reigns is just super small. We'll see if he can beat Aleister Black. <laughs> Little baby Reigns. The baby dog. Damn, I said he's got to watch out for those kicks. He don't care! <laughs> Aleister Black with a moonsault on baby Reigns. Reigns from behind going to grab the tights. No, just a one count. Aleister Black's able to kick out here. And there goes baby Reigns to the floor. <laughs> you hear that voice? <laughs> Woo! Roman Reigns now with a suplex onto Aleister Black. You know you don't want to hit no suplex. You know what he wants to hit. My man wants to hit a Superman punch. My man wants to hit a spear. He wants to hit six of them, eight of them, ten of them, twelve of them. My man wants to hit all of them. All right. Every single one you can think of, he wants to do it. As Aleister Black now dropping the knee on Baby Reigns. Big splutter suplex there. Sends my man up against the ropes. Oh, Black Mask just knocked Roman Reigns out cold. No, just a two count. The power of Baby Reigns. <laughs> Oh, big cutter lays Roman Reigns out center of the ring as Aleister Black's back to his feet first. And now Roman Reigns is looking to get back into this match, that momentum. Wait a minute, a camel clutch here on Aleister Black. That's not going to be a give up situation here for Aleister Black as Baby Reigns throws him into the corner here. I don't even know how he did that move, but he did it. To the floor. Uh-oh, big dog. Well, baby dog. <laughs> Alistair back in the ring now after Roman had a chance to catch his breath. Into the corner goes Alistair Black. Roman Reigns with a big stinger splash in the corner. Big dog. Baby dog. Oh, what is this? Oh, a stretch. Roman Reigns is not going to give up as he pounds on Alistair Black's knee right there. Big running power slam courtesy of Braun Strowman. I was about to say courtesy of Roman Reigns. <laughs> Big move by Roman Reigns courtesy of Roman Reigns. Big dog. Going to the knee there of Aleister. Oh my God. Baby Reigns with the punch to the back of the head of Aleister Black. Off the ropes he goes underneath Aleister Black. Oh wow. The sh sheer strength of little man Roman Reigns. It's too much for Aleister Black to handle. Oh, big bicycle kick, and Aleister Black with the moonsault out of the corner. Baby Rain's able to kick out. My man's got to do it. <laughs> got to do it for everybody. Do it for all the babies out there. <laughs> Baby Rain's. Oh, I don't even know what just happened. It looked like he accidentally went over him or something. I don't know. That's a little wild. Oh, he's just picking his ass up. 
Oh, he's going to go for a pin on Alistair Black. Just a two count as Alistair is able to get out of that. Oh, another stretch. Is Roman Reigns going to give up? No, he doesn't now. Roman Reigns looking to start the momentum on his side here, but Alistair Black is just in full control. One more Black Mass, and I think that is all. She rode Black Mass to the back of the head. Baby Reigns is out cold, and Alistair Black and Julian B will be moving on to the next round. This man, Alistair, is cold-blooded. He'll take down a baby and not even think twice about it. So there is absolutely a chance that this match goes maybe 45 seconds. Or it could go three days. That's the only thing that's going to happen in this match. We're not going to have an average match here. They're either going to kill each other or no one's going to die. That's the only situation. As we have AJ Styles representing Hell Spartan Z coming to the ring tonight to face off against Minoru Suzuki, who will be representing William Cena. I'm telling you, there's only two outcomes of this match. They both die, but this match never ends. Because I really don't know how else this could possibly go. I really, really don't. I guess we'll have to wait and see. This could definitely be match of the night. We'll see what happens. Maybe he'll just hit AJ in the nuts. That could always work too. They could have an extremely average match and then hit him in the nuts. I mean, that could definitely happen. I've seen it. AJ with the chops to Suzuki. I don't know if that's exactly the move that I would go with if I was going to face Minoru Suzuki, but hey. AJ's faced him before, so I mean, uh, who am I to tell AJ what to do? As he goes to choke, of course he's going to go straight to choking AJ Styles out with a boot in the corner here. Going for a chop block to take out AJ's legs. You take out them legs, that takes away about half of AJ's arsenal. Oh, he was going for a German suplex. He ducked through. Wait a minute. Oh, God, he's got AJ. I told you. I told you. This man is out here trying to torture people. I done told you. The full mount now. AJ Styles able to reverse it into an arm bar. Suzuki able to get out of it, but these dudes are going full throttle. I told you they're going for arms, they're going for legs, they're going for limbs. People are dying out here tonight. AJ Styles down again. AJ able to get out as he picks Minoru Suzuki up, trying to get something started, but an aggressive body slam will put him down. Now he's got AJ's arm trying to break that shit out of socket. Minoru Suzuki is a savage, but AJ can bring it out when he needs to bring it out too. AJ now chops to Minoru Suzuki in the corner, and AJ's down again. No rope breaks here in PCW. That heavily favors Minoru Suzuki, the shooter. Oh my god, he's got him again. AJ has got to be close to just passing out from one of these things. He's going to have to stop getting into it. He's going to have to stop. Oh no, he's got him. Great find. No, AJ is able to get out again. Step up Enzigiri from AJ Styles, drops Minoru Suzuki, and AJ's gonna have to stop Minoru if he wants to do anything. Into the corner goes Suzuki now. AJ, big forearm in the corner. This is where AJ wants to be, dropping Suzuki on his head. AJ can hit that Styles clash. DDT to Suzuki as he gets him back up, close to the center of the ring here. I thought maybe we were gonna see a Death Valley driver, but he's gonna go for a gut buster instead now. Big suplex sends Suzuki to the floor, and AJ's going to follow him outside. Maybe not the smartest decision. I'm sure Suzuki does not care if he wins by countout or whatever. He just wants to win. Go to the next round. He either wants to win or kill somebody, so one of the two. AJ's back in the ring. Suzuki's back in the ring. 20 count here in PCW. A DDT sends Suzuki to the floor. Now AJ getting him up, starking his ass straight to the floor with that punch. Oh, AJ going for the clothesline. Suzuki able to duck, and he's got him. Great mind. And AJ still not giving up the passion out of AJ Styles. Pele kick reversal. He was not able to get that choke. Two, three, and then knocked out Minoru Suzuki out being damned. AJ Styles and Hell Spartan Z are moving on to the next round. I think that kick caught him flush. I thought Minoru Suzuki had that all lined up, but you can never tell. AJ Styles with the Pele to move on. Now bring out the rain maker, the ace, Kazuchika Okada making his way down to the ring, representing John W. as he faces a wild card here tonight. He is honestly facing quite the wild card. I really don't know how you prepare for this type of match. 
But you gotta do it. You gotta figure out a way to do it. I'm sure Gato's got something that, that underneath that little bandana. Maybe he's got one of them sharring guns under there and he's able to figure out what's going on with Scott Steiner. Because I tell you right now, I only know if Scott Steiner knows how to prepare for Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner is representing Joshua A. And that Steiner screwdriver put down Baron Corbin in the last round and he is not afraid to use this thing. I'm telling you, he does not care. He will break this thing out left and right. He does not care. Now Kazushka Okada off the rope. Scott Steiner able to stifle that early. Okada now picking up Scott Steiner. All oh, big pump handle slam from Scott. He sends the Okada mecha. He's down, down, down. Now Scott Steiner is able to hit him with the double axe handle. Center of the ring right now is exactly where Scotty wants Okada. Unless he wants to hit that Frankensteiner, then maybe not. But I doubt it. Big drop kick to the back of the head there from Okada. Lays out Scott Steiner. Uh oh, wait a minute, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, hey, hey. Scott might be getting crazy. Oh, no. Okada is able to hit Steiner off the ropes. And now, Oka oh, I thought Okada was going to fly. Okada now center of the ring. Big German suplex bridge on Scott Steiner. 2.9. I thought that was all she wrote on that one. I could have sworn that was going to be it. Now Okada's got Scott Steiner. No, wait. Scott's going to reverse it into a suplex of his own. Okay, big dog. Okada back to his feet now. Oh, Steiner running into the turnbuckle. Big Steiner line in the corner drops. Okada flush now, and Scott Steiner's strength is starting to show. Oh, I thought maybe we were going to see something, maybe a belly-to-belly -belly from Scott, but Okada's able to reverse it into a DDT center of the ring now as he has Scott exactly where he wants him. Goes for a drop kick. This is going to be great for Scott Steiner if he can capitalize on that, but he can't as another DDT comes out of the ace. Okada with a sit-down drop kick drops Scott Steiner, and Scott is just looking for anything he could possibly get right now. There you go, some punches, a forearm, whatever you can do. Okada's got him in the corner. Big butt cheek bomb. Oh, and he goes for the bell. He goes under the bell. It's Scott Steiner. He don't care. And Okada is obviously pissed. Scotty's back up. Pump handle slam there. Drops Okada like a sack of hot rocks. DDT drops Scott Steiner. How many times can a man get dropped on his neck in his career? Wait a minute. Big tiger bomb there from Scott Steiner. Oh, but he's flexing on him. Goes from behind, but Okada said, nah, you good. As now Scotty drags him to the center of the ring. He wants blood. Another pump handle slam. Uh-oh. I thought we were going to see a Steiner recliner. That's what it looked like, people. Okada reversing again. Back and forth action here between Scotty and Okada. Big backbreaker from Scott Steiner. Big shoulder tackle from Scotty. He just knocked Okada out. He's going to have to do something quick. Big boot drops on Scotty is on a roll. The momentum is starting to ride up as they are now breaking it down. Okada and Scotty going back and forth. Okada, big boot. This could have just changed the momentum of the matchup. A forearm from Okada drops Scott Steiner from behind. No, it might have been going for a Rainmaker, but Scotty's going to start shoot headbutting Okada. He knows his weakness. From behind, a big headbutt again. They both kicked at the same time, but Okada's the one that came away on that. As now he drops him with a DDT. Scott is right back up to his feet, though. Wait a minute. Leaping tombstone on Scott Steiner. No rope breaks in PCW as he goes for a pin. No, just a two. What an exchange. Steiner screwdriver. This is the move that picked him up the win in round number one. Scott Steiner's done it. Scott Steiner has defeated Kazushka Okada. And Scott Steiner and Joshua A will be moving on to the next round in the PCW tournament for April 2018. I'll be damned. And now we have the White Ranger himself. Seth Rollins representing Tom C. Coming to the ring and my man is coming off a hot victory from round number one against Hiroshi Tanahashi. And it looks like all the New Japan dudes are getting run out by the WWE dudes this tournament, which is a stark difference from the first tournament. And you know what? It's good that Rusev is facing Seth Rollins here tonight, as it's Rusev Day. Rusev will be representing Nick J, and he's looking to take down Seth Rollins and move on to the next round. We'll see if he can do it, or if Seth Rollins will drop his ass real quick with the stomp. 
get this match underway here. Big DDT from Seth is going to start the momentum on his side. What the? He's going to go straight for a pin on Rusev. Rusev is going to find that as a form of disrespect. But Seth's going to be able to fire back with some moves of his own. Rusev now trying to use that brute strength. But Seth, he's going to need a little more against Seth Rollins. I'm going to tell you that much. Brute strength is not going to win you this match. You're going to have to think a little bit more. The knees to the abdomen of Seth Rollins. As Rusev now is looking to start something hot, a good sequence or anything, get Seth out of his rhythm. That's going to be the key to tonight. You can get Seth out of his rhythm. Wait a minute, a roll up here. Rusev's shoulders are on the mat. Just a one count again. Just a bunch of one counts. Face wash there from Rusev. Just trying to discombobulate Seth Rollins so he can get a sequence of his own started. But now we have a reset at two minutes. A combination from Seth Rollins, and that's exactly what Rusev does not want to see. Wait a minute, accolade on Seth. Give up. Give up. And Seth is able to fight out. He is not going to give up just yet. Rusev with a body slam sends Seth Rollins down, but Rollins is still able to recuperate. Must be all that CrossFit. We'll see who can get up first from that exchange. Seth Rollins is actually going to be the one, even though on the receiving end of the move, he's the one to get up first. And now we have a breakdown between the two dudes. Seth Rollins is down. Rusev wants that accolade again. He wants it again. No, you think Rusev might be able to get a victory via submission on Rusev Day, but Seth Rollins does not care about a Rusev Day. He says it's Rollins Day. Big clothesline drops him like a sack of hot rocks. Center of the ring now, Falcon Arrow. We've seen him win with this move before. No, just a two count as Rusev is able to get out. He must have been watching the tapes. Uh-oh, a buckle bomb coming up for Rusev. Yes, he hits it flush. Exactly what Rollins wants. As he has Rusev up and groggy, swinging neck breaker here. Rollins flips him over, gets Rusev up, but Rusev's able to reverse back. Rusev sends him straight to the floor there as he, oh, I thought maybe he was going to go for the accolade here, but a big, oh, wait a minute. No, Rusev, I thought Rusev was going to get the accolade, but Rollins was able to get right back up. Now center of the ring, a face watch trying to discombobulate Seth Rollins again. An elbow to the back of the head. Rollins now center of the ring. Rusev going for a suplex, but Rollins able to go behind with a forearm. Picks Rusev back up. Rusev reverses himself. Goes behind Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins reverses. Big drop kick. Drops Rusev. We get a reset. Rusev is going to be the one to answer the call. Hits him with a clubbing fist to the back. Oh, Accolade is locked in. Give up. Give up. And Rollins is able to get out. He does not give up out of the Accolade. Again, the face wash from Rusev one more time. Big spinning kick. And now Rusev is saying it's all over right now. He's catching his breath, trying to get ready for this finishing sequence here. But both men are now down in the center of the PCW ring. They both answer at the same time. Big super kick from Seth Rollins just destroys Rusev as he drops him on his head there. We're near the ropes. I don't know what Seth has on. Oh, it looked like he was going for a drop kick. I didn't know he had it in his mind there. Rusev is going to stop that drop kick flush now off the ropes. Rusev, big lariat there as Rollins fires away. Rollins off the ropes, Rusev off the ropes. Big boot from Rusev now, center of the ring. No rope break, so it doesn't matter where the accolade gets locked in. As long as he gets it locked in, he just straight up floored Seth Rollins. But Rollins is going to be able to answer the call and get back up. Just a suplex there. I thought maybe we were going to see that Falcon Arrow. As Seth goes behind, Rusev going to reverse the combination from Rollins now. He's going to go for the pin. He might have knocked him out flush. No, just a two count. Rusev able to answer the call. Wait a minute, this man locked in a Boston Crab. Wait a minute! The Seth Boston Crab out of nowhere on the Seth knees of Seth Rollins. That knee came back to bite him again as Rusev and Nick J take down Seth Rollins on Rusev Day and move on to the next round. And now for the final match of round number two, we have Rosemary representing Breakdown, making her way to the ring. And she is facing off against the final New Japan wrestler left in this tournament, people. How insane is that? All the rest of the people that have gone on to the next round are in the WWE. Rosemary is the last Impact Wrestling superstar, and Kenny Omega is the last New Japan superstar. One of these two will be making it on to the next round. We just have to wait and see which one it is. Kenny Omega is representing Justin R, and he would like nothing more than to move on to the next round and represent New Japan in this PCW tournament. We'll see if he can beat Rosemary or if Rosemary's going to carry the torch for Impact Wrestling. Let's see how it's done here tonight.
They both went for a kick right away there, but Rosemary's going to be the one that comes out on top. As Rosemary hits a suplex on Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega with a body slam. Ooh. And now we are both down. We are already at a reset, and we are 30 minutes, well, 30 seconds into this matchup. Rosemary now, off she's going to go off the rope. She's into the corner. Kenny Omega with a body, that was an aggressive body slam, sends Rosemary to the outside of the ring. Rosemary now back in the ring as Kenny goes for an enziguri. She steps out of the way, which is very smart of Rosemary. And just straight up tosses Kenny Omega like a sack of hot rocks. Grabs him into a backbreaker here. As Rosemary now is in full control of the matchup. Kenny Omega off the ropes there. Rosemary goes to the clothesline. Kenny Omega able to duck. But she grabs that leg up hot. Now Kenny's got to do something here. But Rosemary's going to hit a bulldog. And they're both down. Kenny Omega going for something, but no Rosemary again with the Bulldog. This match has been nothing but Rosemary as Kenny is just falling behind here. Goes for an Enziguri, but Rosemary catches that leg and puts some damage in on it. There's the step up Enziguri from Kenny Omega, who's now going to go for the pin. No, no, no. Kenny now. Oh, wait, no. Rosemary again suplexing Kenny Omega. Uh oh, wait a minute. Kenny's got that arm. Rosemary's in the corner, goes straight for the head to Kenny Omega. And now she's gonna hit him with another backbreaker there, dropping Kenny Omega to the floor as Kenny tries to go from behind and poison run it. Jesus Christ, Rosemary is, she is woozy on her feet now. I don't think she expected that whatsoever as Kenny Omega grabs her. That's a big brain buster there. And now he gets Rosemary back up. But wait a minute, Rosemary, that's the move that she won last round with. But Kenny is able to escape outside of the ring. And I think that just saves him. Cole, wait a minute, Red Wedding on the floor on the outside. Rosemary is through playing around. Oh, wait a minute, Kenny. Wait, no, Rosemary versus again. Rosemary is on fire. Wait a minute, we could have a count out. We could have a count out. Kenny Omega. Rosemary is woozy. And Rosemary just answers the call. Oh my god. Wait a minute, Rosemary's through! Red wedding on Kenny Omega! Oh, and Kenny is able to kick out at just two. He goes for a basement drop kick there. Oh, that was a spike Rana from Kenny Omega who kicked her with a baseball slide on the ground. Kenny is trying to get back into it. Oh, V trigger knee! Off the ropes. V trigger knee! This man's going off! He's sick of it! Wait a minute, Rosemary. Getting behind Kenny. Kenny gets behind Rosemary. Rosemary off the ropes now. Kenny flush sling blade from Rosemary. Kick to the stomach there. Oh, wait a minute. No, she was going for the red, red wedding. Oh my God, dude, I can't keep up with this. Kenny from behind. Rosemary. Oh, she's got Kenny Omega down. He's telling her to bring it. What a final match of this red. Oh my God. Ro Rosemary just caught Kenny Omega off guard. I, that has got to be the biggest upset. Rosemary and Breakdown are moving on to the next round. A leg trip just caught Kenny Omega off guard. He kicked out right at three, but he was caught off guard and Rosemary did the damn thing. What a second round that was. We had surprise matches. We had fantastic matches. We had criticals. That was one hell of a round and that shows you what PCW is all about. Now in the next round we have Andrade Cien Almas versus Braun Strowman. We have Neville versus Aleister Black. We have AJ Styles versus Scott Steiner and we have Rusev versus Rosemary. That's one hell of a round too. I hope to see you guys there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Remember if you did to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody goody and I'll see you guys next time. See you.